Hi, I'm Carl and I work at Arduino as an interaction designer. Today, we're going to take a look at variable synchronization, which we can do in the Arduino IoT Cloud. Uh, variable synchronization is really good when you want to connect multi multiple devices together uh, that can be in different locations. Um, as an example, we here have two lamps that are turned off and they're connected to a couple of relays that are connected to devices uh, that are now connected to the Arduino IoT Cloud. And by clicking one switch, we have now turned on both of these and we can also turn them off as easy as that. And in this scenario, we use lights because we are thinking about a home setup and how we can solve the problem of uh, switching on and off all the lights in your house in order to save electricity. Uh, so let's say we have in this scenario two lamps and they can represent the living room and the kitchen. And if you've gone to bed and you just feel like I don't want to get up and turn them off, you can simply use the button on your phone to turn it on and off. And of course, it's not just limited to, to these two devices. You can actually connect maybe 10 devices together uh, and thus you can actually turn off an entire building with a button click on your phone. And what is really good is that this requires very minimal coding. All of the backend is basically taken care of by the Arduino Cloud, which provides a template for you. So the only thing you have to do is just basically create an if-else statement to control the relay. And that, that's pretty much it. So now that we know what we're going to do, let's take a look at how we're going to do it. So today we're going to take a look at how we can synchronize our variables. And we're going to use this to turn on two lamps at the same time and also turn them off at the same time. And the setup we're going to be using is a light bulb or a light source and a power source and an Arduino. And the Arduino is going to be connected to a maker relay shield. Uh, the Arduino we're using is a Maker Wi-Fi 1010, which can connect to the Arduino IoT Cloud. And the working principle is that whenever we turn on the first light source, it would also automatically turn on the second light source. And this is, of course, uh, the same principle when we want to turn them off. And for this project, we're going to use two Maker Relay Shields, two Maker Wi-Fi 1010, two power sources and two lamps. The setup on the Arduino side is really easy. All we have to do is connect the Maker Wi-Fi 1010 to the relay shield. And here we have the setup. So we have the power source uh, that is connected to this breadboard where we have the plus and the minus pole. Uh, now we're going to connect this lamp to this relay and then to the power source. And to do this, we first need to start by connecting the, uh, the ground from the, the, from the lamp to the ground here, and then the uh, power cord from the, uh, from the lamp, we can connect to the normally closed pin. You're gonna use a normally closed configuration here. Just do it like that. And then we're going to connect from the common pin here. We're going to connect it to the power line on the breadboard. So this is just like a try. This goes straight there. But we, we thought this is a little bit nicer setup. And then we're just going to use this Maker Wi Fi 1010. We're going to align the pins like this. And then push it in. And there you go, there we have the whole setup. And really important now to mention is that this is a 12 volt uh, adapter, which means the output's only up to 12 volts. Um, if you use anything higher, uh, you may uh, cause danger to yourself and also burn out the boards as well. Um, this setup is uh, it's designed to take up to 24 volts. Um, so please do not exceed that limit because that could prove dangerous for both you and your and your items. And here you can see a complete circuit. Um, make sure that all the wiring is correct before you attempt to power this project. Um, and make sure again that you have a 12 volts adapter or less. In the IoT cloud we need to click on create a thing. And the first thing you can do is just name our thing, which is light one. 
to keep track on it. And then we can head over to device. And in device, I've already configured a device before. It's a very easy process. Uh, so we're gonna select that. The light device one, connect it to light one. And then we're going to add a variable. And this variable is gonna be called relay switch. Keep, keep track. And we're going to make it a Boolean. And it's gonna be read and write. And then we're going to add this variable. And for network, we can just simply click um, network name and network password. Click on save. And that's basically all the configurations needed for this first. And now we can move on to the code. So for the code, we're just gonna make some small adjustments. We're gonna add this line, which just declares the uh, relay as pin to pin number one. And then we declare it as an output as well. Uh, further down, we're not gonna do anything in the loop, but for the function called on relay switch change, which we then, which is, comes from the variable that we created in the thing interface earlier, um, we're gonna add this simple if else statement. So if the relay switch is true, uh, we will write a low state to the relay, which actually will turn it on because we're using a normally closed um, configuration. And uh, at the same time, if relay switch is not true, then we write a high state, which turns off the relay. And that's pretty much it. So we can go ahead and click on the upload button for this. So it's waiting. And you can see here now that we have a success. So we, let's open the serial monitor. You can see the output. If we're clicking up, you can see that it's connected to the Arduino IoT cloud. And basically that is enough feedback to know that it has worked. Um, so let's move on to the next setup. Uh, as soon as we have uploaded the code to the device, we can go on to create the second thing, which will be connected to the, our second light. So to keep track, we can just simply name it light two. Uh, we will select the light device 2 that we configured earlier. So you will need two devices for this configured. Um, the next thing is we're going to add a variable and we're going to call it relay switch. Same as the, same as the other one. But now we're going to click on sync with other things. And now you can see that all of my things that can be synchronized with this shows up. So we're just gonna select this one here and you can see that the relay switch uh, from the thing one and it's a boolean is read and write and we're gonna click on synchronize variables so you can see that this is now synchronized and the same here is gonna be read and write and on change uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on add that variable and now we just need to enter the network for this one as well the network and password we click on save and basically that's the same um, we can now go on to the code and now we can see that it's starting you can see some commands here and great so let's see if we get a success amazing click on the serial monitor again you can see here now that yes we are connected to the cloud on this one as well so now we have two identical setups, uh, both are connected to the IoT cloud. So the next thing, the next order of business, so to speak, is to also create a dashboard in which we can control this. So we're going to click on dashboards and then on build dashboard. And so we have an empty interface here. Um, if you click on the edit button, we can click on add. Um, let's do a switch. So let's link this first to the light one, relay switch. Great, we have this one here. And then we can also add a switch, which we are linking to light two relay switch. So we have two switches, but these should now be synchronized. You can also name this the light control 
setup. That's a very good one. Um, no need to arrange or anything. Uh, I think we're good to go. So let's see now what we can do with these switches. So when I click on this button, or this, this switch, we want to see the other switch turn on as well. Because one switch belongs, so this switch belongs to uh, thing number one, or light number one, and this belongs to switch number two. So when I press this one, this one should follow as well. So let's try it out. Yes. So this means that our uh, cloud setup, our code is working and everything, that all is left is just the uh, connection to the lamp. Uh, let's try it out by switching it off. Yes, and it works perfectly. Um, so this is the only dashboard that we're gonna have for this setup because it's so easy. We actually don't even need this one, but it's kind of nice to see that both of them uh, are working. So you get a nice little feedback that if I click on this one here, that one turns on as well. So today we have created a pretty nice smart light setup for our home. Um, we have used two lamps connected to two relays and connected to two Maker Wi-Fi 10, 10 boards. Uh, these are now connected to the Arduino IoT Cloud, uh, which we also set up. And as you saw in the setup, we have written basically five lines of code. We use the exact same code for device number one as we do for device number two. And it's really easy to keep track on. Um, we then created a dashboard, just to basically um, be able to, um, to turn on and off this setup. And we can also see that when we did it, uh, the variable synchronization worked like a charm. And I think it's the variable synchronization of this product that is just really, really cool. It enables um, a really, really good communication between two devices uh, without having to do any complicated coding, uh, no complicated hardware setup or anything. And in this setup, we have used relays, we have used lamps. Uh, the circuitry is pretty easy and straightforward, but if you feel a little bit uncomfortable working with relays and higher power sources, then you should ask someone who is knowledgeable in the field, for example, an electrician. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you need more material on how to replicate this project, you can check out the links below. And uh, good luck on your next project. Thank you for watching.